All right, so this is Kathy Salisbury, the director of the Ambler Arboretum Temple University. And this is um, today's installment of Curiouser and Curiouser, which highlights some interesting activities we see going on around in the Arboretum, natural activities. And um, I wanted to record this one today because I found it, I was so excited because I found this going on in the garden. And um, this phenomenon speaks to the way we manage our gardens. We use integrated pest management, which means we manage our gardens in a way that promotes and enables beneficial insects to help us take care of pest problems when we have them in the garden. So we don't spray chemicals to kill insects because we, we want the beneficial insects here. And we know that if we plant in a way that attracts beneficial insects, that they will help us manage the harmful pest insects. And so that is uh, how we practice care here in the Arboretum. And I was telling my student worker, one of our student workers, actually one of our public horticulture interns, about finding this going on in the gardens. And when I was describing it, I was smiling about it because I just think it's so cool and so fascinating. And I was so happy to see it going on. And as I'm describing it, she's getting a little more and more horrified and um, wondering why in the world am I smiling as I tell you, as I tell her about this. But let me tell you about it and we'll see what you think. So today we're going to take a look at aphid mummies. So aphid mummies might sound like the um, the beeping, somebody's backing up, uh, might sound like the title of a science fiction movie, but this is science fact. And so we're here looking at milkweed. So this is common milkweed. We know that this is really important for monarch butterflies, that monarchs need these plants in order to survive, right? The, uh, this and other kinds of milkweeds, right? So, so we do know that. And for those of us who grow milkweeds, especially the common milkweed, we do know that they tend to get covered with aphids. And they're these little yellowish orange milkweed aphids. You can see them right here. So they grow in colonies generally. And aphids are another fascinating creature. Um, they are an insect that instead of giving, uh, laying eggs and waiting for the eggs to hatch, these aphids actually have live births and the generation that's born is already has the next generation to be born inside it and so they don't need to um, reproduce they are already set to go so uh, that's how you get aphid colonies so quickly on a plant because they're just uh, always <laughs> reproducing but anyway, we're talking about aphid mummies. And so what I'm gonna try and do is get pretty close up here. And what we're gonna do is look at the back of a leaf. So if you have milkweeds at your place that are covered with aphids, scope this out and see if you can find these. And so when we look up close here, we notice these brown spots. And these spots, sorry about the blurriness, trying to focus. There we go. These spots are aphid mummies, these brown, sort of like swollen paper bag. And if we look really closely, we'll see that in the end of it, there's a little hole. So here we have the aphid mummies that you can see. So they are this brown, kind of a tan color or, um, or can be dark brown depending on the species of wasp. But what happens is a, a, a aphid parasitoid wasp. So this is a wasp that uh, parasitizes aphids, lays its egg, inside an aphid and this wasp is about a tenth of an inch long it has a narrow waist like all wasps do and it's a beneficial wasp so instead of stinging it lays its egg inside the, an aphid and as the egg develops uh, in it uses the insides of the aphid as its food source 
and when it's ready to pupate, so when it goes from being the little white larva um, to being uh, to transitioning to an adult wasp, it, its pupa is formed using the skin of the aphid. So um, that is why it becomes this brown papery husk. And then as the aphid becomes an adult, or as the wasp becomes an adult, it chews a little hole in the papery husk that's been created, and then it emerges as an adult. And as an adult, these wasps feed on the nectar of plants that have lots of tiny little flowers all clustered together. So think of plants like um, dill and parsley, um, anything in the carrot family really, fennel, yarrow, those are the best plants for attracting these beneficial wasps to your landscape. And we've got tons of them here. And so that is the story of the science fact of aphid mummies. So get out and take a look at some milkweeds wherever you find them and see if you can find the aphid mummies. And where you see them, you know that there's beneficial wasps help controlling this population.